Good morning from Quartzsite. Sun has not come up yet. It's a nice, crisp, cool morning, about 38 degrees. And uh, I'm going to see my first sunrise here in Quartzsite. All right, that's a beautiful sunrise here at Quartzsite. The sun is coming up. Wow. Everything is brightening up. All right. Just got officially registered. Very nice camp host. Uh, there's a 14 day limit here. So after 14 days, I gotta move on to another campsite, which is simple here because there's 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 campsites everywhere. So I'm gonna go check out the uh, the swap meet and stuff. I'm also you know, gonna look for some stuff that I really need. Uh, I've got. I've got seven gallons of water that I want to put into my tank, but um, I need a a good funnel because uh, this is really made. It's got like a spigot, and you can turn it on and off, and that's not going to not work for me. So that's one of the things that I've got to do. This is the roughest road in the history of rough roads, right here. That's why I didn't even go further down into. Uh, where the adventure van man was going to be and I wanted to want to camp there but I just don't want to I don't want to drive that rough road um, people are driving on the shoulder you know off the off the side because it's smoother than the road the road but I don't guess they're ever going to come through here and pave them so well it's my first day I'm going to go in there and check out what I can check out uh, I got a friend that I sing karaoke with she's got family here so i think somewhere down the road i'm going to to uh introduce myself to them and uh and see what what they have going on i think there's one place that does karaoke here that i'm uh, probably going to check out tonight um i'm trying to think of the name of it but it'll hit it'll come to me in a little while Oh, it's the Quartzsite Yacht Club or something like that. Anyway, I'll find out. My poor old car. I bet you she's happy she ain't towing that heavy-ass trailer today. She's got some get-up-and-go in her. <laughs> I need to find a place in here to go ahead and get my oil changed. I need the oil change. I just got it changed in uh, right, right around Christmas time, but uh, I have been put so many miles on this car since then. You know, it's going to need it. Well, enough about me. Let's take a look out here. All right, there's the sign. There's a story behind the camels. If you look up the history of Quartzsite, uh, I'll tell you about how they brought in camels one time to, uh, to help with the military. It says, Hi Jolly Cemetery. I don't know. I got this guy walking in the, right in the middle of the Monument is.
It says here the famous camel herd with which the name High Jolly is linked constitutes an interesting satellite of Arizona history. Jefferson Davis, afterward president of the Southern Confederacy, as Secretary of War, approved a plan to experiment with camels for freighting and communication in the arid southwest. So that's that's what happened. Thirty-three camels were landed at Indianola, Texas, February 10, 1856. Forty-one were added on a second voyage with the first camels. Came as caretaker Haji Ali, whose Arabic name was promptly changed to Hajali by the soldiers, and this became the universally known as his name. Greek name was Philip Tedro. Okay, I don't know what it was. On the Beale Expedition in 1857 to open a, a wagon road across Arizona from Fort Defiance to California, the camels under High Jolly's charge proved their worth. Nevertheless, the War Department abandoned the experiment and the camels were left on the Arizona desert to, to shift, shift for themselves, chiefly roaming this particular section. They survived for many years, creating interest and excitement. Officially, the camel experience was a failure, but both Lieutenant Bill and Major Wayne were enthusiastic in praise of the animals. A fair trial may have resulted in complete success. Hmm. I know if I bored y'all, <laughs> but that was interesting. Okay. I'm going to go over here and look at, uh, look at this. This pyramid of native stone marks the resting place of Hajali, a Greek, a Greek born in Syria, also known as Philip Tedro and Haji Ali. Hajali was hired in 1857 as a camel herder in the U.S. Okay. This cemetery is dedicated in his honor. So this is the last camp of Hajali. Born in 1828, died in 1902. Well, oh, that's cool. Glad I came to sell this. Well, that was interesting. Uh, the High Jolly Monument. I didn't know who, what in the world a High Jolly was, but <laughs> now I know. Take a right, go back, get by on the main drag. I mean, with the mountains all around, this place is scenic. <laughs> the town itself is, you know. <coughs> another, another story, but still, it's a. It's pretty cool. Okay. When I pull out directly to my right, this is going to be my karaoke spot. The Quartzsite Yacht Club. They have karaoke on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, I think. So.
really just an interesting place though this quartzite Yeah, this is where I do all my grocery shopping right here at the Roadrunner Market. <laughs> kind of cool, kind of small though. Ribeyes are $17.95 a pound. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.